Mm. And we are back. Hey, my cyber babies. It's Mother Love with Crystal Emery. She's also has, you have an organization called You Are You, The Right to Be. Tell us about that organization and what, what is your mission? You Are You, The Right to Be is a content production company. Mm -hmm. So we utilize theater and film and the written word to address social issues. Mm -hmm. um, everything is media. Mm -hmm. And if we don't start populating that media with positive images and stories uh, that are heartfelt, uh, we will never change belief systems. And so that is what we do. We create in our workshops and conferences a safe place for people to have open dialogue mm -hmm. and then to lead with tools that are about change. Because I'm not about the conversation. I'm about the action. Action. Because you could look. What they say, I can show you better than I can tell you. Yeah. And when we're talking about telling our stories, uh, what, what, what kind of content are you looking for for television? And, and do you do television? I do television if somebody picks me up. Okay. <laughs> you know, we have children uh, shows. This is where I live. Don't dump on me. I am not a sitcom person. I'm not a reality show person. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I have numerous screenplays and children books. Uh, my series, Little Man, uh -huh. is a five-part book series uh -huh. about an urban little boy who's prophetic. And uh, so he could hear rocks talk, and uh, he could hear Okay, where's that book? I need, this, I need to read that. And um, so we'd love to turn that into a a children's television show. That would be so wonderful. Um, I would watch that because the crap they got on on Saturday morning is like, who greenlit this gunk? No wonder the kids can't form a whole sentence because you got stupid stuff on television. And it's we have got to, like I said, t tell our stories and share our stories. One of the things that I find very disheartening, especially out here in Los Angeles, is the lack of people that work in the business wanting to help one another. Do you know what? I think Do you find that as well? I'm not going to say that it is just the entertainment business. I think the entertainment business is a microcosm mm -hmm. of the bigger problem. We have become very greedy as a culture. Oh, pl oh. And, but, but we are fed that. Mm -hmm. You know, if you look at the films, it's about me, me, me. And how much can I have? And I need this, and I got to have the latest latest. Yeah, how much can I eat? How much can I buy? How much How much sex can I get? And you after know? a while, if you know like I know, after a while, it's, it's going to be all the same thing. I have downsized my lifestyle. And when we were downsizing, we were living in this big, giant house, and it was just my husband and I because our son was gone. And I was like, why are we in this house? We don't need this big giant house. Five bedrooms, there's only two of us. We sleep in one room. And so when we were downsizing, I could not believe how much unnecessary stuff I had. Yeah. Just stuff. I mean, I had the, the Salvation Army come, and I had <sighs> six armoires in my house. What you need six armoires in your house for? And everything was full everything and you don't need all of that you don't need 400 pairs of shoes well maybe i do <laughs> okay guess what you don't need 400 but we'll let you keep 300 300 that's all we need that's all we need. you know so now, what, that, what are, what are some was. of your what are some of your um your your happy vices <laughs> Okay, maybe we might have to leave that one alone. Because I can hear your brain smoking all no, the way. There, there, there are some things I love cooking. And I have a cookbook called Cooking with Cousin Chrissy. Uh -huh. A healthier, lighter approach to African-American cuisine. And the problem is I like eating what I cook out of that cookbook. You and me both? Um, but let's change the word and not use license. Mm -hmm. um, I like writing. I like being with my family. I like cuddling. Mm -hmm. You know, 
Um, last night we had dinner with Bill Duke. It was wonderful. Um, but I want to say that I don't want it to be that everybody is out for themselves because I couldn't be here without mm -hmm. a lot of support and a lot of support from people in the industry mm -hmm. because it is a film we made. So that means we had designers and production people and and that's so. another thing I don't think people really understand. When you're doing a production, there are a lot of pieces and people that put yeah. that production together. Yeah. They think it's just you or they think it's just the star, you know, or just the director. It's a whole team of people. And that's why I tell them, if you got bad continuity, the film is going to suck. It has been my pleasure to sit and chat with you. Thank you so very much for your vision. Thank you for sharing your spirit. And thank you for wanting to tell the stories that we want to hear. Ladies and gentlemen, Crystal Emery, tell people how they can get a copy of the book. Oh, please go to our website, changingthefaceofmedicine.org, or one word, changingthefaceofmedicine.org. And you can find out how to follow us around the country or how to purchase the book. And what I'd like to leave you with is remember that ordinary people can do extraordinary things. That, you know, there is a God, there's a power greater than you, that when you tap into that, only goodness can, can come out of it. Fear and love cannot reside in the same space. Namaskar. No more needs to be said. Thank you so Thank much, you Crystal. Much. I'm telling you, I just love Thank her. You. And babies always remember, no matter how big or tall, short or small, thick or thin, it matters not what skin you're in. Everybody needs some mother love now and then. Peace, babies.